few people could have ignored the pace at which China has been developing in recent years. But this change has come at a price. Local Chinese governments have borrowed huge sums from state banks to finance stimulus projects, and now they rely on land sales to cover the payments. The result? Residents forced from their homes. Without notice, consultation, adequate compensation, or alternative housing. Local authorities have often beaten, harassed and imprisoned those who resist. Some have been killed. Amnesty International's new report, Standing Their Ground, has found Chinese authorities using barbaric methods to evict residents, including taking a baby to blackmail its parents, beating 20 women from one village, and in one case an elderly lady was buried alive as bulldozers demolished her home. Some are in such despair, they set themselves on fire, in a drastic protest of last resort. Amnesty International collected reports of 41 cases of self-immolation due to forced evictions between 2009 and 2011 alone. China's ruling Communist Party continues to offer political incentives, tax gains and career advancements to local officials who deliver economic growth, whatever the cost. Local governments and property developers frequently hire weapon-wielding thugs to rough up residents, confident the police will not investigate. Lawyers won't take on forced eviction clients for fear of repercussions and the courts are not independent, so there's little hope of gaining justice anyway. Forced evictions are banned under international law and remain one of the great issues of popular discontent within China. Premier Wen Xiaobao has acknowledged the gravity of the situation and there has been some progress with new regulations adopted in 2011. But these measures only cover urban areas and do not nearly go far enough. Residents continue to face violence and homelessness with no access to justice.